Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can find and use textiles in Photoshop. In this video tutorial, we're going to have a look at textiles in Photoshop. And I'm going to show you where you can find textiles and download them, how to install them into Photoshop, and how to use them. I'm also going to show you how you can scale text styles so that the styles that you find look as good on your text as they did on the original images that you saw when you downloaded them. To get started styling text in Photoshop, you'll need some text to style. So I've just created a document here with a black background and some white sample text. And if I click on the text tool here, we'll see that this is Arial 72 points. To style this text, we can use a style, and to see the styles, we'll choose Window and then Styles. Now, most of these styles are styles that actually come shipped with Photoshop. I think there are a few that I've added myself. But basically, to apply a style to your text, you just click on the text layer and then just click the style. Now, some of these styles look great and some of them won't. And that's just fine, because some of them will have been developed for other purposes, perhaps, than text. If you find one that you like, you can experiment to see if scaling the style adds to the effect. I'm going to right click this effects layer and click Scale Effects. And we can scale the effect by increasing it or decreasing it. And sometimes this will result in the effect looking better. That's probably particularly the case with styles that include some bevel and emboss. Now, it's had no effect on that particular style, but let's try one that is more beveled. Let's go to Scale and see if increasing or decreasing the scale has an effect, and you can see that it does. Now, there's a very small sweet spot here between 0 and 100, and sometimes the most movement you'll get is in that area. So you'll just need to perhaps arrow and nudge it with just the arrow key when you get somewhere near to something that's interesting, and just see if you get a better result with one or two pixels worth of change. Now this is an important concept to get used to, because a lot of the styles that you'll find on the web might look really, really good on a website, but once you have a look at them in your own computer, you might think, well, that's not very good at all. And it's probably because you're trying to use them at the wrong size. Now, in addition to styles that come shipped with Photoshop, you can also find styles. So here I've gone to the web and I've looked up Photoshop textiles, and there are absolutely hundreds of them that you can find. So you can go through and locate various collections of textiles that are free, and there are, of course, others that you can pay for. And you will then download them to your computer. Now, I've downloaded mine into a folder called Textiles, and I've gone ahead and unzipped them. Some come as zip files, and others come as RAR files. But I've been able to open those up and get to the files that are inside. And these are the style files that are supplied. And now what we need to do is to get them into Photoshop. So let's go back to Photoshop, and let's open up the menu here on the side of the Style panel. And I'm going to go here and choose to load styles. And I'm going to go and find the folder that I created for my styles. And here's my Text Styles folder. And now I can locate the ASL files. So I'm just going to go and get these Noble Gas ones, and just click on this and click to load them. Now that will load them for this instance of Photoshop, but in actual fact, it's really better if we put them in the Styles folder for our Photoshop installation. Now I'm using Photoshop CC here, so I'm just going to right click this and click Copy, and I'm going to go and put it in the correct location, which is in my user area. And I'm looking for App Data, Roaming, Adobe. Photoshop CC, Presets, and I'm looking for Styles. 
and so I'm just going to right click and paste this into my styles folder and you can do that the same way on a Mac you just need to find your preset styles folder now when I click it and click load it's always going to appear in future in the styles list here so it's not there right now but it will later on and the styles that I've just added will always be the last styles in the list so again with my text selected I can just click to apply one of these styles that I've downloaded to my text and again as I did before I can scale it I'll just right click the effects area choose scale effects and then see if there's a difference in scaling this style if it works better at a smaller or a larger scale So you can now go and find various styles on the web, download them, install them into Photoshop and then use them for your text. Now because I've got a text layer here, this text is fully editable. So not only can I change the text, what it says, but I can also change the font. And you'll find that some styles look better with different fonts. Now this font is really big so let's just move out of the way but you can see that the style has been applied now to a different style or a different font of text. Let's go back here and see if we can find something that's a little bit more squashed up. Let's just try this font here. So you can go ahead now and experiment with different styles in Photoshop. I'm Helen Bradley. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. Look out for more video tutorials here on my YouTube channel and consider subscribing to my channel and you'll be alerted when new video tutorials are released. And visit my website at projectwoman.com for more tips, tricks and tutorials on a range of applications including Illustrator, Lightroom and Photoshop.